Okay, sorry about yesterday. It looks like I shouldn't have problems anymore because they actually replaced my router and my modem yesterday. So hopefully that fixed the problem. Um, yesterday's lesson was on a video. So just in case you missed it because it was um, notes yesterday, you need to make sure that you go to home, then scroll to the bottom of the class and click on class videos. I'm gonna let people in, hold on. And then you'll see that yesterday's video was actually pretty big. It just takes a second to load. But it shouldn't, oops, sorry about that. Hmm, I hope that's not happening with you guys. If, I'll try to get back in here one more time just in case, but it shouldn't be looking like this. So I'll make sure it's working, but I did load it. I'm not sure why it's showing a gray screen like that, um, but I'll go back and check in that, but it is up. So as soon as I let you guys out, I'll go back and double check on that. All right, let's go into today's module. Um, so just looking at our week at a glance, so yesterday you should have completed your types of conflict notes and read August 21st to the 23rd of Tangerine, answered those questions and turned them in. Um, I am, I actually extended everything this week until September 6th as well. So for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I sent out messages on Parent Square. I put an announcement and then I also sent you guys messages yesterday telling you that you have until September 6th, which is this Sunday, to turn everything in. Um, after that, then late work rules apply. So that means that I also um, extended everything this week to September 6th. That doesn't mean wait till then. It still has a due date. So like yesterday's work is actually due today because um, I give you like an extra day all the time. And then like today's work would be due tomorrow by 11.59 p.m. Just in case you have something going on today. I always try to do that for you guys. Um, and then the other thing, especially for your classes, I'll always extend it out until Friday. So if something happens like on Monday and you can't get to it, um, I'll actually leave it open until Friday. And as long as you don't pass the close date, you'll still be okay. Um, <clears throat> But for everything, every single thing, so let's just look over here real quick. For everything, week four, week three, week two, and week one, everything, everything, you have it open until this Sunday. I went in and I physically opened every single one of your assignments. If for some reason you go into one and it's not showing you a submit button or a reply button, let me know. It's possible I missed something, but I did try to go in. So you guys don't have this view, but when I click here, <clears throat> actually, your view might be the same. Yeah, if you click assignments, you could see. So you see now everything says it's available until September 6th, including your quizzes. So if you haven't used all three tries, go in there and try to do better on them. Um, but you see like all your interactive notebook stuff, see how it says available till September 6th. Um, if I missed anything, so like this one's not available until September 3rd, but that's because we haven't done it yet. But everything that's already open, it should say available till September 6th. And then all these things are gonna close on Sunday. So if you're missing anything, you can check that by clicking grades. If I click grades, it's gonna be very different than when you guys click grades. But when you guys click grades, um, actually I could kind of show you what it looks like for my son, because I wanna make sure you guys know. So, I'm just going to sign in as my kid over here. Hold on just a second. Make sure nobody's sitting in the waiting room. Okay, so this is his dashboard. And if he clicks in, let's say his math class, and he clicks grades, you can see that every single thing that she's done is in here and all his grades are in here. <clears throat> now, when you guys click in here, you're gonna wanna look, yours is gonna look different because it's obviously my class and not uh, a terracotta class, but you're gonna be able to go through and see if you have a grade or not. And you can actually even like click on this and put in a grade and it'll show you like 
your what if score. So you want to go in here, click on grades, and it'll look something like this. And you can actually switch your course and arrange it by like the due date, which is probably going to be a lot more helpful for you guys. Um, but you just want to make sure you click on grades for all of your classes, but especially for my class, just because I'm closing everything out on September 6th. Um, it's kind of like looking at uh, inner infinite campus or like your own grade book. So you go through and you can see uh, what grades you have and if you want to improve it. So like you're taking your tests and quizzes, you can still go in there and try to improve that. Um, what I did notice about quizzes is that I don't really think it's this class, but I'm just going to bring it up um, because I grade all of the English 9 classes together. And for some reason, a few people are submitting the quizzes with no answers. Uh, it's still going to get you a zero. So don't do that. Um, you do have three tries. If you submit it as a zero, you're basically wasting a try. And all it does is tell you that you left the question unanswered, it doesn't give you the answers. Um, so I don't know why people are doing that. It's not gonna help you. It's much better to try to do your best on the first time and then it'll show you like what you got wrong so you can eliminate that answer. Um, that's not something I usually allow to happen, but I'm doing it right now because of the can't, because we're not in school and I'm trying to help you guys out. So go back into anything you need to go back into and try to improve your scores. Um, if you haven't turned anything in, again, this is the only time you're going to be able to go in there and without any penalties, without any lowering of grades or anything, go in here, try to improve these test scores. And then anything you're missing, you can tell when you click on grades. Um, and then just go back to the module. So like when you do that, uh, it'll like bring up what your score is and you click on it and then you have to come up here and then click on the assignment name and then it'll take you to the original assignment. I'm only telling you that because I have to do it every day with my sons and so I'm letting you guys know because it's something that I've seen um, in student view that I can't see in teacher view. Um, all right, so moving on. Um, somebody was asking me about the book. So what I've done now is last week and this week, I've moved the book under week four at a glance. So your book is always going to be under uh, your week at a glance. And then after that, I put your reading log because your reading log is something that you work on every day. Um, and then yesterday we did types with conflict notes. Again, if you missed that, go into the video I posted, which you can get off of the homepage. Um, and then you have your tangerine questions from yesterday. And so today, yesterday we looked at types of conflict. So there's three types of external conflict and one type of internal conflict. So today we're going to watch some videos and you guys are going to be filling this in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these particular or this particular one I loaded into Google because just because it's easier for you guys. So all you have to do is click on that that blue link and then you can come in here and start typing your text in here. Um, let me move this out of the way, make sure nobody's in the waiting room. Oh, we're good. All right, I'm gonna move this down. Um, all right. All right, so let's go ahead and watch these videos. And all you have to do in here is tell me which video it was and why. And you're gonna see the videos in a second. So say we're watching like, I don't know, a clip from Terminator. Oh no, let's say we're watching a clip from um, Apollo Creed, like, or it's called Creed, I think. So, and you're watching him box somebody else in the ring, then that would obviously be man versus man. So you would put Creed, and the reason would be because Creed is fighting another man in the boxing ring. So please, please, please make sure you're writing in complete sentences. You tell me which clip it is and why you think it's that. All right, so let's go back to the videos what about the first one? what about what the first one for um the conflict thing so you're talking about yesterday's notes yeah i wasn't there um i posted a video it sounds like you got in just a little bit later than everybody else so all you have to do is click home to see the video and then go down here where it says class videos click on that and then <clears throat> 
this is the video from yesterday. So you just have to, so now it's working. So it was fine. You just watch this. And then whenever we do in interactive notes, yours have to look exactly like mine. So you just have to copy my notes on your version of it and then submit it. So that's why I was saying that there's external conflict and internal conflict, and there's three types of external and one internal. So you're going to have to go back and do this before you can actually finish today's assignment. But we're going to go ahead and watch the videos now. But all you have to do is go in here and watch it for yesterday. All right, let's look at the videos. Okay, remember, we've got three types of external. So man versus nature, man versus man, man versus society. And then only one is man versus himself or and that one is internal so when you're having a conflict inside yourself okay so let's look at this one first bill we're in the core okay we got sisters Right now. We're running into the flanking line. I realize that. You can't attack this thing from the south. We're gonna get rolled. Watch me. Julia, I know you're upset. You you just gotta breathe. We both just gotta breathe. Okay, so this particular one is called Twister. And does anybody know which type of conflict that would be? We can actually do it together. Man versus nature. Right, so all of you guys that said that, it was man versus nature. And all you have to do when you go into your assignment is put the one that is man versus nature would be Twister and then tell me why. All right, let's watch the second one. Make sure that after you guys answer, you put yourselves back on mute or else we hear like everything in your background. All right, let's watch this one now.
Simba. What have you done? The wildebeest and he tried to save me. It was an accident. I, I didn't mean for it to happen. Of course, of course you didn't. No one ever means for these things to happen. But the king is dead. And if it weren't for you, he'd still be alive. <gasps> what will your mother think? What am I gonna do? Run away, Simba. Run. Run away and never return. Kill him. All right. What do you guys think that one is? Man versus man? Or like internal? Okay. It, man I can, versus himself? No. All right. The reason that this one's confusing is because we're not looking at Mufasa and we're not really looking at Scar. What we're looking at is what Scar is saying to him. He said, you killed the king. What will your mother think? So why is Simba actually running away? Because he thinks it's his fault. Right, he thinks it's his fault, and who's going to be mad at him? Um, he, oh, he thinks his mom's going to be mad at him? But his dad is the king. So think about it. Like, Let's think about if um, the president of a country is killed, Who's mad? Is it just his wife? Man versus society. Yes, it's man versus society because his dad is king. So he's saying like, what will your mother think? Your dad is king. So he's basically telling him, everybody's gonna be mad at you. Everybody's gonna blame you. You broke the law because your dad is the king. If his dad was just a regular lion, then it wouldn't have been versus society, but because being the king or being the president or whatever, coming at like that high form, you're including everybody in the government. So this particular quote is man versus society. So make sure that you can explain that one out. All right, go ahead and put yourselves on mute. We're gonna watch the next one. My cowboy! Woody? What's he doing in there? There's a snake in my boot. What? There's a snake in my boot! <laughs> been my pal for as long as I can remember. He's brave, like a cowboy should be, and kind and smart. But the thing that makes Woody special is he'll never give up on you, ever. He'll be there for you, no matter what. You think you can take care of him for me? Okay, then. attacking the haunted bakery pew, pew, pew. the ghosts are getting away <laughs> what are you okay we can actually stop it there what do you guys think this one is man versus himself yeah it's man versus himself because especially if you guys have seen like the first two toy stories because this one's toy story three you know how special woody is to andy and so if you haven't watched Toy Story 1 and 3, that the older kid was younger in the first two and his name's Andy. And basically um, Woody was like his whole life, his favorite toy, everything and everything surrounds Woody. And then the other toys like uh, come in later. So it was- uh, Disney movies are such emotional roller coasters. I know. <laughs> they always are. They're like know. just, oh, it's- I know. Um, 
wait to see some of the shorts we're going to watch. <laughs> okay. So this one, you guys are right. It's man versus himself. And it's just because he has to question like, is he really going to give up the thing that meant so much to him? Or is he going to give Woody away to Bonnie? And so he does decide to go ahead and give Woody away to Bonnie because he's supposed to be going to college now. Um, so you guys have to be able to explain that one. And then the last one should be super easy. It's always the easiest one to identify, but it's a fun one to watch. So we're going to watch this one too. Oh, great. How am I going to convince those guys it was an accident? Buzz! Buzz! Ha! You're alive! This is great! Oh! I'm saved! I'm saved! And he'll find you here! He'll take us back to the room and then you can tell everyone that this was all just a big mistake. Huh? Right? Buddy? I just want you to know that even though you tried to terminate me, revenge is not an idea we promote on my planet. Oh, well, that's good. But we're not on my planet, are we? No. Okay, come on! You want a piece of me? Okay, so which one is that one? Man versus man. Yeah. It's obviously man versus man because it's one guy versus the other guy beating each other up. <laughs> so, all right, so you're going to go in. So for the choose Toy Story clips, make sure that you put one is Toy Story and the other one's Toy Story 3 when you're filling out your form. Um, let me just go into the next one to show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so for man versus man, this one, make sure that you just put Toy Story 1 and then explain why it is. And then for man versus self, that one should say Toy Story 3 and then explain. Um, the other two is either Twister or The Lion King. And you guys already know which goes where. Um, if you came in a little later, there's a, like, I think three of you guys, you may want to go back, rewatch the videos and decide which one's which, or wait about like 10 minutes or so for me to upload today's video so that you guys can rewatch it. Um, oh, excuse me. Yeah. Um, is this one for um, types of conflict number two or number one? This is types of conflict two. Yesterday was types of conflict one, and you need to watch yesterday's video to complete that one. Oh, all right. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and then today, let me see what else. Oh, today you also have some tangerine reading. It's just five pages. So make sure you read August 30th, August 28th to the 30th, just from pages. I did update. I think last week the pages were off, but this week the pages are exactly what they're supposed to be. So make sure that you're reading pages 22 to 27, just five pages, and then answer the tangerine questions. It's less than 10 questions. Um, and there's not any vocab in there. I just want to make sure you're reading it. And then complete Tuesday's reading log. Make sure you're doing that every day so it doesn't become overwhelming on Friday. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message through the inbox. I just see somebody just joined us, so they're going to have some catching up to do. Um, and then just again, go back and look at yesterday's because you, if you didn't do, if you didn't watch the video yesterday, you're going to need to in order to submit that to finish that. And then I just want to make myself clear because I know I've said it probably twice already during this class, but your interactive notebooks are a huge part of your grade, okay? It's 25% of your grade, and all you have to do is make sure your notes look just like mine, all right? Okay, so we, we got those, those soft cover books for language arts. I don't know what we're, what we're going to use uh, this for. I, the school was like, here, take these books. We're not using anything. So if they gave you something, just put them off to the side. We're not using anything they gave you. Oh, okay. 
is put them on the side because you guys, the only thing you may use like the bigger textbook for later is when we're reading the Odyssey and Romeo and Juliet, if it's even in there. But I remember I told you at the beginning of the year, I will still put the digital version in your modules for you. So you don't have to go looking for anything. Um, Cause we only read certain, well, when we get to the Odyssey, we only read certain books in the Odyssey. We don't read the whole thing because it's thousands of pages. Um, and I'm not sure what's in that textbook. So I'll be posting what we're going to look at. But to be honest with you, just put it off to the side. I'm not a textbook teacher and they didn't ask us. They just gave it to you guys. Um, I like to do things a different way, as you can tell, because we just watched Disney clips today. Um, but anyways, please, 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 especially for those of you that just came back, that just joined us, make sure that you go back and watch yesterday's video and today's video because you're just joining us so you missed the, the clips and the answers basically. Um, and then again, your interactive notebook notes, not today's because today's is you interacting, but yesterday's when I'm doing notes and like tomorrow's notes, it should look exactly like my notes in order for you to get full credit. So all you're doing is pay attention, is paying attention and copying down the notes. You don't have to make anything up. Like I was grading some stuff in other English classes and I was like, what the heck are they doing? Like, don't make it harder on yourself than it already is. Like, you don't need to do that. Just go in, look at it. And as you're like filling it out, it helps you remember everything. And then we use like what we did yesterday to do today's assignment. So today's assignment, the types of conflict too, that's your own words. Okay. All right. Before I let you go, does anybody have any questions? All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. And just so you guys know, I am going through, I already did it for one of my other classes, but you're going to start seeing um, some participation points coming in. So as long as you're joining in Zoom every week, you're automatically getting points toward your participation, which is going to help raise your grade. But please, 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 several of you are way behind in this class and you only have until Sunday to turn in all your late work without any penalties. So go on in there, click on grades, check what you're missing and try to get that stuff done. All right, guys, um, have a great rest of your day. And as always, if you have any questions, just send me an inbox message. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.